Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 9th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, and as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as I did earlier this morning and last night, show you the big plasma filaments and M-class solar flare. But we've seen a couple more events since last night. Notable on the top left and equatorial regions. Let's have a quick look at the last two days incoming. Cresting into view, lots of prominence, plasma prominence spinning around. And this is where we saw that large plasma filament eruption from a backside solar flare. And this is a pretty active region here, outgoing. Watching the last few images, M-class solar flare. Multi-spectrum pointing out the last two days of events. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for pressing play and being a part of this journey. We do have some interesting coronal holes developing north and south right now. So heads up, that's getting ready for an Earth-facing party. Welcome to the largest cosmic dance party on the planet. And we're all invited. This is the last two days imagery. And right now we have eight sunspots that are Earth-facing. Having a look now at those sunspot regions in motion. Big black holes on the sun. Solar Cycle 25 is definitely putting on a show already. And stay tuned because we're going to see something big over the next week, I'm sure. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts expected and as well solar radiation storm impacts expected. Solar winds coming in now at a hyped 441 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing here one, two, three, four M-class solar flares just over the past four hours. Solar proton flux instantly elevated to the S1 solar radiation range. Geomagnetic activity hopping up to a 2.5 today. Space Weather Prediction Center here. They have not updated their space weather spiral. This is depicting our latest CME, and that is expected arrival tomorrow at around 9 to 10 p.m. And then look at this large backside CME taking off from the sun right towards Venus, the Parker Solar Probe, and as well as Stereo A. So... Large eruption there. This large active sunspot region is getting ready for the Earth-facing Earth events. So stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. Keep you updated daily here. Having a look at Alaska 3, showing the last two days, cosmic energy is leaving our sun. Notable, the two very large CMEs. Halo CME from the far side of the sun. And as well, watching the last few images, bottom right-hand corner, got a sun-diving comet heading towards the sun. We're going to show this one more time. Zoom in. Amazing images brought to you by Soho. And there's that sun-diving comet. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. USGS is reporting just under 280 earthquakes 5.4 earthquake here is Serengeti, Philippines. That's the most recent. Saw some activity through the Fiji region, but no deep earthquakes, which is a little bit strange because normally we have at least one through the region. Notable earthquake here, 5.0 magnitude, South Indian Ocean, Mid-Indian Ridge. As well, a 4.5 earthquake here being reported, Buffet Island. Antarctic and close to the Scotia Plate. South America, pretty quiet considering. 5.5 earthquake here, Central East Pacific rise. That's the largest last 24 hours. Quiet through the Caribbean and as well North American Plate. 
pretty quiet as well, but increasing seismicity, Goldfield, Nevada, and as well, Hawaii. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for pressing play. Thank you for all the likes and love and support to this channel. You all keep me inspired by wanting to be a part and be aware and prepared. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, please be ready. We've got some increasing seismicity through the United States, Hawaii, and Alaska. Something's got to give here soon. Now let's have a look at our sulfur dioxide emissions forecast for the next three days. Brought to you by our 66 active and erupting volcanoes. As you can see, lots of SO2 coming out of Kamchatka, eastern Russia, and as well Mexico. Still high SO2 particulates in the southern hemisphere right now. Don't really know where it all came from. As I noted yesterday, it might have been from the herd volcano in the South Indian Ocean. We did just have an earthquake there as well, a 5.0 magnitude. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Russia, and Africa. Continual SO2 coming out of Mount Etna. Minor eruptions this week. But otherwise, still, all of the SO2, most of the SO2 is concentrated around the Northern Hemisphere right now. Thanks to Fagradas Valley, the large volcano that has been erupting for the past, what, three years? On and off six times in the last eight months. All right, let's carry on with weather. We do have a tropical system that is grinding through the Gulf state right now. Mexico, Texas on the radar for this tropical system. I do believe her name is Francine. Having a look at satellite imagery, there were a lot of lightning strikes overnight. This was a very powerful system but not quite hurricane strength. Still at a tropical one depression. May get up to a category two by the end of the night tonight. Forecast models are saying a quite possibly category three. So thoughts of prayers going out to everybody along the coastline there, Mexico and Texas. There's going to be a lot of moisture associated with this storm. Some very high cloud tops and it's a very electrifying system. Big, cold front, still dipping southward, high pressure ridge, and that's what it's going to be hitting. And that's what's going to be powering it up as it grinds and heads to New Orleans and then straight up the eastern United States. Smashing into a cold, high pressure ridge and a very warm week ahead for North America. Watch for storms there through Alberta and the central United States, Canadian prairies as well. Tropical system in the long range forecast forming here in the central Atlantic. And this was expected. I had noticed a very large low that was cruising across the African continent. It has now made it to the Atlantic and is racing, will be racing across the central Atlantic before getting ready to steer northward. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Africa and Australia. Still monsoon rains and intense low pressure systems heading towards India, Myanmar, no major typhoons or hurricanes to report in the long-range forecast. Lots of moisture for parts of eastern Canada. Having a look here, satellite imagery, Pacific Northwest. There is a lot of smoke from wildfires burning through Oregon. And as well, Idaho. Montana. Looking at satellite imagery right now, air, air quality is not good at all through the Canadian prairies. Here is the tropical system. And it is Francine, tropical storm Francine. Looking here like it might 
turn into a Category 2 hurricane as it makes landfall. Again, much love, everybody. Thoughts and prayers to everybody impacted by Tropical Storm Francine. We've still got a couple months here to go in the Atlantic hurricane season. Thank you so much for almost 80,000 followers. Please, if I had 200 people share today, we would definitely be up at over 80,000. So do it, folks. Much love. Spike the like. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.